we're live. Let's go. Finally got this set up. Dude, for the past like 15, 20 minutes, it seems like all goddamn day, I've been trying to put the camera in a bunch of different spots just to get my, just to vlog myself, all right? I'm terrible at vlogging myself. I had this camera up on a, on a milk carton on top of paper plates. I'm surprised this camera is not broken and the fact that I have it situated now, but whew. All right, I'm glad that that's good. Got a little got a little sweaty trying to fucking situate this. I don't know if you can really tell. No, I look good, I look good. Anyways, it is Saturday, the 1st of July, and we are going to have a very special guest with us today. His name is Jamison Trahan. He's coming all the way from Florida. He is one of the interns that we are bringing on to the team. And here at BDG, we have a little bit of initiation process where if you're gonna come work with us, you gotta be all in, all right? This, this isn't really like a part-time internship. We want people to be committed to the Big Dog brand. So it is borderline required to live in the office if you're gonna have an internship here. I myself, did not actually go through this process. I kind of sneaked my way in before we implemented this, but Sexy P was the first person who had to live out of this office uh, when he was doing it. This office was in horrible shape. He was literally right outside the door when you first walk in. Every morning, I would come in here at like 8 a.m., wake his ass up, unfortunately, had no other option. Uh, now we got things a little more situated. Now we got an actual bedroom. We have the kitchen a little more set up. The only thing that's not in place is the shower. We have a bathroom down the hall, which is pretty nice. Somebody comes and cleans that, thankfully. But yeah, there's no real shower for these interns who end up living here. What we did before was I would just let Sexy P into the gym and he would just use the showers there. But the gym that's right down the street from us just closed literally yesterday. It was a goddamn tragedy. Rest in peace. You were a good one. Blink on 31st. There is like another gym, probably five streets down that way. It is kind of weird having to make that walk to go shower, but you know, we, did, we didn't say this was a luxury stay. This isn't a five-star suite. We're not putting you up in a goddamn four seasons. You gotta rough it out. You gotta prove that you want it. This isn't for the weak hearted, all right? Working at BDG, getting in here, it's gonna toughen you up. Hopefully, maybe, I actually have no idea. What's going on? Um, entryway, bar, your bedroom Sweet. for the time Hi. being. Yeah. Um, meeting room, kitchen. Uh, I guess TikTok room, living room, work area, podcast room, green screen, my office back there. That's it. Sweet. Yes. So this is also your your house from now on. So. Did you your Wordle today? Uh, nah, we did it... When did we do it? Yesterday? Two days ago. A couple days ago. Yeah, we don't do it often anymore. We only do it if we need, if we didn't film any good trivias and we're like, we gotta do some bullshit. Yeah, well, uh, welcome in. You're lucky they fixed the AC like two days ago after not having it for like yeah, a month because it was... Uh, it was... Here. It was tough in here, yeah. Yeah, as far as like the bed and everything, uh, the sheet that I didn't take out yet you can throw on there um and we can get something i guess that like covers it because when sexy was living here he was in this room and basically like if anyone came in early we were just kind of waking him up right away and just not, not too worried about it all right i don't um, sleep in very much no early waker yeah good tony's in here at like 5 a.m it's your first time in new york right yeah this is Jeez. <laughs> way different than florida a little bit. I saw in one of your, the last vlog, I think you said you didn't like it. You hate Florida, like you made the joke about buying a grandparent. Yeah, didn't like it. Why don't you like it? It's just fucking gross all the time. You think it's gross? It's just it's trash in the streets here. It feels, yeah, but not like, like, it makes me feel internally gross. Like, New York is externally gross, but when I'm in Florida, it's like, it feels like I'm in a swamp. Even when I'm walking on dry land, you know? The swampy nature. Like, grass everywhere. Grass everywhere, it's humid, it's disgusting. How's the uh, beta thing that you guys joined on TikTok? 
Good. Actually, yeah. I haven't checked. I don't know what her. Probably haven't made much money because we keep do making fake fucking trivia. <laughs> I think they keep are, getting views though. Were they all? Are they? I don't even. I don't know. A after I realized I made a mistake making it, I just I, I just turned TikTok off I for like go the back week. To the comments. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. We're doing all right. We need to just rip like Connect Fours and Grids. They just fucking. Yeah. They hit. On the 2013 year, is that the one you're talking about? Yeah. Okay. Where you did the fake fucking playoff. <laughs> Whatever, man. I don't know. I fucked up <laughs> again. Yeah. We might just we might need to hire someone. Whose fact check. Higher role is to fact check. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. That's what, what you're here for. Official fact checker. Someone asked me if you were related to um, the YouTuber. Yeah. Ryan, Ryan Trahan, no. Yeah, Maybe, up, I wish. I pulled up a picture and I was immediately like, fuck no. <laughs> no chance. All his videos are like financial shit, aren't they? Are they? Or I remember one video. He looks like a TikTok. When I was in like middle school, he did like the trading up pen challenge or going from a penny to a million, and that sucked me in when I was 12. Oh, uh, well, that's a, I mean. You consider that financial videos? That I, I haven't like, watched them since, yeah. so I have no, I just assumed. It feels more like a fuckboy genre. Yeah. yeah, like look at him. This, are you shitting me? That looks like what I wanted <laughs> to be when I was 12. <laughs> My clothes is full, though. that's the only place I know I can go to right now. There's a, um, there's a close one. There's like three, three blocks down. Yeah. Wait, so what's your, what's your, the food issue? You know what celiac with? disease is? Oh, you're celiac, yeah. yeah. That, I'm out to dinner with a friend last night, I'm celiac. Sucks, God. Sorry. It's not, it's not and nuts, unfortunately. And nuts too? Yeah. Okay. I wasn't always like this. I turned 18 and shit just hit the fan. I don't know. That's what happened with my friend too. He didn't, he, it wasn't always like that, but then he got it um, when we were like in college, I think. And got bad quick. Yeah. We were I'm glad it happened after college because if I brought a lunchbox to high school, I know no one was sitting next to me. <laughs> I'm supposed to do some like trials when I go back home in December to get over the nut allergy. I have no idea if that'll work, but honestly, nuts are fucking overrated anyways. I feel like life is so easy to live without. I guess what 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 like products or foods have nuts in them that aren't like directly. If I if I could never just eat like a handful of almonds again, I'd be fucking fine yeah. for the rest of my life. More so just peanut butter. Or a lot of times with the celiacs, it'll be like the alternative like cake or tortilla is like almond flour. Yeah. Um, there, I mean, that's a good thing about New York, though, is it's very, like, yeah. progressive with that shit. Like, there's gluten-free options everywhere. Yeah, I'm not too worried. And I, I knew the Chipotle was closed. Like, I could live off that for four days until I find something. Yeah. I mean, there's, like, 8,000 food places you know, around the corner here, so. Yeah, I gotta explore. Are you going out of town? You mentioned he wasn't gonna be. He is, yeah. Yeah, I'm leaving permanently on Monday. You and Sexy? Yep. Is it cool if I still go home late July? I mentioned the cruise to you. As long as I get the videos, yeah, ready. I forgot, but yeah, it's fine. I'm also leaving late July. <laughs> I told you that a long time ago, and I knew you weren't gonna remember. The fuck, would I remember that? We need to get a, we need to get like a PTO system, even though it's unlimited PTO. I think I might, I think I might flip that. You I think might I'm, limit it. I think I might limit it to like two days next year. <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed to take off. And that includes weekends too. You're not allowed to take another day off. Fuck that. And we are here. Welcome. For those of you that don't know, some of you may not even know who I am. My name's Tony. I was the uh, the original intern, the fakest of them all. Now, kind of grown a little bit. We're introducing more interns. So, Jameson, you're in. Glad to make the cut. Yeah. Coming all the way from Florida, mm -hmm. Gainesville. Do you actually live in Gainesville? I did. I, went to, I go to UF. This is my last semester. I lived off campus freshman year. I lived in a dorm on campus. Wasn't the best because it was COVID and I couldn't even leave the dorm. All the classes are online. But after that, it got pretty good and got into a sketchy neighborhood. But <laughs> there's, a, there's a roof over my head where there I was at. So overall, not a bad experience. Not too bad. The games are always awesome. Even though we weren't good the past few years. I mean, watching AR live, I had a few classes with them. Now to see him go number four overall to the Colts. Can't complain about that. I mean, you a Colts fan now? I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to claim I'm a Colts fan, but if they're playing just some random team on a Sunday, I'm going to root for AR. Okay. I'm an AR fan. Yeah. And I'm targeting them into fantasy. Yeah, probably a good pick. Yeah, I'm not complaining. So this is just a little bit of a, of a get to know you because you're going to, you're going to be on camera, right? What, what specifically were you brought in here to do? To look at my pretty face, I guess. I mean... To I look, at, look at your thighs? Yeah, it's a I, big thigh episode. Big <laughs> we thigh do have the blog. AC back, though, so we'll try and keep the pants on. Me and Nick, we talked a little bit. We haven't gone in depth yet, but hopefully with BDGE, I could create 
some type of series or some type of consistent content daily for TikTok channel to help out with the trivia, with unique things, with best ball, whether it's long season props, whatever it is. Just put my pretty face to the screen and see what type of content we can make. You gotta work some, some things as far as what it's gonna be, but I'm excited to see whichever path we take. So what, what's the content that you've already been creating for people? Mainly the past month I've been working on fantasy content. I think it feels a little early. That's what all the comments say. You're drafting this early, you're drafting this early, but if you're a diehard fantasy fan, if you're in the business, this is the best time to do it. This is the best time you're gonna get value. That's what I've been doing all June. Soon I'm gonna be starting doing just not even fantasy rankings. Here are my top 10 quarterbacks, my top 10 running backs, all positions. Before that, end of the season, during the off season, just kind of pros and cons of each team based off the draft, based off free agency and every off season move. There's a couple of free agents out there still that I think we all wanna see that aren't big names, but we know their names. Zeke, Kareem Hunt. Lenny, Uncle yeah. Lenny. <laughs> Basically all the old running backs yeah, that no one all wants. all the old fat guys. But we're all excited to see where they go still because they're going to have some type of impact. Dalvin Cook, D-Hop. It would be cool if those two teamed up and joined a team, but that's, that's Scooby-Doo land. That's not going to happen. Yeah, there's been rumors of it, but wishful thinking at this point. I don't even know a team that could afford both of them. I mean, that, that'd be pretty impossible to pick yeah. up both. I wonder if they're like even expensive at this point. I would assume D-Hop wants... Somewhere around the 20. So, I mean, if OBJ got 15 million still, That's it was true. a one year he did, deal. He did get a bag. Plus incentives, I would assume D Hop can make 20. Dalvin Cook, though, yeah, he's going to be on a one year prove it, I assume. Yeah. So, never been to New York. No. You are moving here kind of just on a whim. And you're living here. In the office, yep. In the office. This has just become a part of the process of getting hired here. Someone's got to bite the bullet and live here. Yeah. I mean, I knew I would regret it if I didn't do it. I watch you guys daily, whether it's TikTok, whether it's YouTube. I've watched you guys for a while. You guys do what I want to do, but better. There's just no reason I could have turned this down besides the new factor, but we all got to take risks at some point. I definitely regret it if I look back and it's like, now I'm working in some office that I hate and I'm in a cubicle. And now I live in a cubicle, but... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, you hate cubicles. Yeah. You don't even know. <laughs> but hopefully, I mean, you guys are pretty cool. I like the atmosphere of BDG and the way they're going. I think it's a path I want to take with it. What are you least excited about living in the office for? Like what, knowing what you know, is it no shower? Is it lack of privacy? Is it um, limited kitchen? Is it... Detached bathroom, I feel like, is yeah. probably not the worst. I would assume the no shower. I mean, I can manage that if I go to the gym, but just sometimes when the AC goes out, like it did this past week, if I get hot for some reason, I need to cool down. It's not like, oh, let me just hop in it's somewhere. Not, it's not super convenient. I got to go shower next to old men that are naked in the locker room at the gym, and that is not something I want to do. But laundry, we talked about a few minutes ago. I think that's not a big deal. I would say not having the shower is the biggest deal. Privacy is not a big deal to me. I got nothing to hide. I mean, or else I wouldn't have signed up. The, the door and the windows are glass. You could see me through my <laughs> that's room. That's true. We're going to get curtains <laughs> for those, but we just haven't got around to it. But I wake up pretty early, so I'm not worried about you guys coming in and waking me up. Privacy, to be honest, was the least worry when considering it all. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping to do. Just get in a routine, go to the gym, shower, and be back by 8, and get ready for whatever we got to do for that day. Yeah. Are you nervous at all to display your, your ball knowledge to, to the TikTok audience? Because they can be brutal sometimes when yeah. you mess up. I mess up every single time. And it doesn't take long for them to sniff out my fraudness and then start calling me out. And that's when I got to delete the TikTok app. I'm like, ah, I'll be back <laughs> next week. Yeah, watching the other interns, Matt knows ball, gut competed, but it's it's like family feud. Like when you're up there, when you're watching TV, it's easy to come up with an idea. But when you're in the game and you got to make a play, you got to make a call, you got to come up with a name. It's easier said than done. So I am a little nervous, but it's not a big deal. It's just fun at the end of the day. I just hope to compete. I'm not expecting to take the wins all the time, but... Just, yeah, like you said, I don't want to feel like I need to delete the app. I'm right. embarrassed. Where, where would you put yourself in, in ball knowledge? Would you say either your first rounder, maybe a day two pick? I would say high upside day two. High upside day two. I feel like there's okay. going to be some years that I just, or some random teams or players I randomly know, but I'm not going to be able to be counted on day in, day out. Do you have like a, a certain cutoff in your ball knowledge? Like if we go back to the early 2000s, are you toast? 
I would I would say I could probably name like maybe important playoff moments, but if you ask me like random, yeah, who was the Jets receiver in 04, I'm out. Like, I'm, yeah, there's gonna be a cutoff, but I would say things that matter, I would have a good, well rounded knowledge of. What about uh, what about YouTube? You plan on making your making yourself a presence on the tubes? I thought about talking to Nick about doing possibly my own live stream on the drafts, talking to him about using the equipment, but that's a conversation I gotta have with him. I don't even know how to use this camera that we're looking at right now, but ideally, what would you what would you like to do? You want to talk about your, you said drafts as in like fantasy drafts? Yeah, or just the NFL? like a live underdog fantasy draft. I think those are fun. I do them alone, so I might as well do it in front of a camera watching me. So I think that would be pretty cool if you actually get someone to talk to in the comments during the live drafts, or even join you guys in one of them. YouTube right now, I do post all my TikToks there as shorts, so I have somewhat of a presence. No BDGE presence by any means, but I feel like I have a decent basis to start escalating from rather than starting from complete scratch. Well, you'll probably be on the streams with us every week, at least, uh, you know, when it's me and Nick, you'll be the third person. And I'll tell you what, your drafts will not be horrible, more okay. horrible than mine. I, I set the bar pretty fucking low when it comes to uh, the, at least the fantasy knowledge. Mm -hmm. I saw the other day Nick did an AI draft. There was another one. Oh, you guys did the ones with the props. The season long props. Yeah, that was tough because you would take a guy's under, but you want him on your fantasy team, so you obviously want him to have a good year. So it's just such a contradicting. It was tough, but that could also be viewed it's, as a win win. Yeah, it's a hedge almost. Right, exactly. Yeah. So when that team flops like it inevitably will, I'll be paid for yeah. it. Because I think you took a lot of Steelers, if I'm not mistaken. Dude, I think you took Nashi. Yeah, see, that, that that's the other thing. <laughs> yeah. Even if we weren't doing season long props, like those, those are the dumb mistakes I'd be mm -hmm. making, just loading up on Steelers yeah. or an offense that nobody wants. Yeah, I'm excited to see where it goes. It was funny, you also did one on um, who's a, I think you and Nick talked about who's an overrated football player. But in fantasy, they're actually a good player. Everyone's right. saying Austin Eckler, but he was on your team. But it doesn't matter because he was the great fantasy player. I, th I just think the fun topics for the fantasy drafts is more fun than just sitting down and doing it for no reason. I would agree, too. Like some, you, some people aren't about it. Some people, you know, are, are here strictly for the fantasy advice. And, yeah. you know, they don't want to hear me blabbing on about, I don't know, my or horrible Or just doing team. what the comments say. Like, right. not always doing what you think is best. I think it's more fun that way. And it changes it up so it doesn't feel so repetitive. Yeah, exactly. So, first lunch here went straight to Chipotle. Yeah. Any, any second thoughts about it? None. Pretty basic. What I know, what I know is not broken. I'm not gonna fix it. Chipotle's a go-to. I'm pretty plain. White rice, chicken, <laughs> cheese, and a little bit of salsa with chips. Maybe some guac sometimes if I'm feeling it. But like I said, if it's not broke, I'm not gonna fix it. Got to play safe. But I'm gonna tell you, it's it's kind of a broke order. Chipotle's not bad, but. <laughs> It's a little expensive, and I think we just have better Mexican options. And then we also just have a lot of a lot of genres here, a lot of categories you could be choosing from. Yeah, I so. definitely got to branch out. There's 400 options at each corner, and I chose the one I know. But first day here, I got to play safe. Yeah, definitely a rookie pick, but it's it's all good. Rookie rookie pick at restaurant, and I know my bowl is pretty rookie. Like, there's no color in that thing. Like, <laughs> you open it up, it's not pretty. It's just beige. Yeah, pretty much. Just one tone of $19 beige. $19 of brown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything that you want to that you want the audience to know about you before you really get started here at BDGE? I guess just what I want the audience to know is my goal of staying with BDGE, working my way up, and being one of the fantasy creators in the space where you look to for advice. And you're not just watching me for because he's entertaining. I'd like to actually benefit people and help them out and help them win their leagues. I think that just something I want to know. I want them to know I want to bring more value rather than just entertainment purposes. Pretty basic, pretty cliche, and it sounds corny, but I'd like to actually help someone rather than just make them laugh a little bit. Yeah, can never be me, but I like that. Yeah. I like that for <laughs> you. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what you do here, you and the other interns. You said you reached out to... A couple of them. You've talked to them a little bit. Yeah, I followed both of them on Instagram. Matt reached out, and we just talked about meeting up, and I talked to him about his other offer with ESPN along with BDG. So he's doing big things. I haven't met Gut yet, but we'll soon, and we're all going to test our ball knowledge against each other. I'd like to do, if you and Nick are up for just an all-intern trivia, just to see which one of the three of us can hold our own the best. 
probably. come out on top. Yeah, you guys will probably be in a lot of matches together. Yeah. Some are going to rise, some are going to sink. Also, it will be hilarious. Gut lost his challenge, Matt won his, so it's up to me to determine the tiebreaker of who knows ball more, the interns and the bosses. So That's true. A lot of pressure you, in my first you didn't round. Have to, you didn't have to go through that gauntlet, so we still got we still got to come out with some episode where we, where we really test your ball knowledge. I'm excited for it. I'm excited, too. I'm excited to get you guys in here. Really should liven up the office. I'm hoping that these vlogs have a little more backstory because normally on a day-to-day -day basis, as you've kind of seen so far, it's Nick on his computer. It's me on my computer. It's not a whole lot of exciting stuff. So it, it's good to get, you know, this this new amped up energy in here. You know, there's going to be Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays that all five of us are in here. Should be I have a third brother in here, too, every day with me living here. Yeah, that's right. You're going to be here 24-7. You're full time, whether you <laughs> like it or not. He doesn't even know he hired a full time employee. You know, what's funny is, OK, so real quickly, we have we have like a desk station with four chairs on it and they were all occupied at one point and then sexy came in and we didn't really have room for him so we took this <laughs> corner seat and when space cleared up sexy was like no i want to stay in the corner which i thought was so weird it was like away from me and nick he was facing a different direction and he was like no this is my corner and then you came in yeah. and we're like where do you want to sit and you were like, oh, I'll take this, I'll take this like dark, <laughs> dusty corner. Take the deep alley that no one could see me at. Yeah. I mean, I knew there was a legend there. I got to fill his shoes <laughs> and make them better. Love that. Just went for the biggest <laughs> yeah. shoes to fill and you're like, I got this. <laughs> yeah. And, and his final quote about being a villain. It was a good one, wasn't yeah, it? I, I like that one. So I got to see if I could keep up my villain arc. Top him. Damn. Villain. A new villain arc <laughs> arises in the BDG. Sexy already office. probably isn't a big fan of me after Nick's tweet when I got hired. What do you tweet? Oh. oh. The in the transaction alert, he put my quote was here to take Sexy's job for good. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think he told Sexy that he was kidding. No. Well, you, you said that. If it's a transaction <laughs> alert, it's official. Okay, all right. Damn near came from Rappaport. I have to talk to my agent, but... Yeah, your agent's leaking okay, shit. Check the source. Your agent is opening up the curtains. <laughs> I guess so. Sorry, sexy. I don't want you to find out this way. Well, all right. I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you, everyone, for, for watching. And once again, Jameson Trahan. I'll link uh, your videos down below if you want to go check those out. And until next time. Appreciate it. Ready to get to work. Ready? Break.